Hello, hello. Uh, in cups confirming when they reach a certain age, like they are at the moment, there is a, a, a heated debate, there is a very big debate that has divided farmers into two. One that proposes and the other one that opposes. And the debate is on king flower or the king fruit. Uh, some pharmacies or advices it's good to remove the king fruit and they have their support uh, evidence why it's important to remove the king fruit. Others advise not to remove the king fruit. And also they have a solid uh, reason, evidence, even some say there are, there are some written document why the king fruit is not supposed to be removed. So, as a farmer, which side are you? Which side have you taken to remove the king fruit or to keep the king fruit? That a debate I don't think we'll, we will ever come to a conclusion or come to a point where uh, we decide now we'll be removing all the king fruit in our capsicum camp or we won't be removing it because everybody has a, has an, a solid uh, reason why to remove and why not to remove. But in my case, uh, I also... Uh, I have a stud, I'm not in between, and I'll tell you wh whether I am for the removing or for not removing. For those who don't know what a king flower is, this is what we call a king flower. A king flower is the first flower, or is the uh, uh, flower that emerged being the first in capsicum production, especially uh, greenhouse capsicum, as you can see, this is the king flower. All capsicum, uh, especially uh, greenhouse capsicum, they produce the first king king flower, which is a very powerful flower. And now this what has brought in the, the debate of either to remove the king flower or not to remove the king flower. In my case, um. I'm always for the removing of the king flower. Why do I advise uh, the king flowers should be removed? And this is how uh, 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 I usually remove mine. This is a king flower. This is a king flower. This is where it's coming from. This is the, the, the point. Uh, the king flower is uh, the, 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 the germinating point or the green part of the king flower. So I remove mine like that. So why do I advise farmers to remove the king flower or why is it important now to get rid of the king flower uh, in capsicum farming? One, when the king flower uh, grows, uh, 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 transforms into a fruit, into this young capsicum, look at how young they are, though they are vibrantly growing, vigorously growing, but the, the plant is still very weak. It has no energy, uh, it has no strength to, uh, to, to produce fruit. So if you keep the king flower to a fruit, that means you are exhausting uh, the, the, the plant. And uh, flowering in capsicum, sometimes it may not be uh, a form or a, a sign of maturity. Flowering can be a sign of stress. It can be because of a stress that the plant is uh, is undergoing. So uh, if you keep a, a stressed a stressed uh, plant with a king king flower like these ones, see, if you you keep this king flower, that means you are overloading, or this this plant will be overloaded, and the energy this plant has at this given point the energy this young plant has it will spend it on now rearing the the, 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 the the fruit and it will concentrate so much on uh, on that one fruit and forget about 
the next flowering and everything. That's why in most cases the, the farmers who have uh, kept the king flowers, sometimes they have, yes, they produce a very big fruit in the first, at first, but uh, at the end of it, the, fall, the, the fruit that follows are very small and weak fruits. So it's advisable to remove it to first to give the, the plant strength to make sure that the plant is developing well to make sure the plant is energetic to make sure it's also ready to carry the, the food because just like human being it has a stage where it, it's supposed to to be allowed to carry the food and uh he if you, are, you give it, you permit it to carry the fruit at this young stage, you be you will be uh, not just uh, benefiting from it but injuring it and also reducing its lifespan because you know uh, the essence of growing or the essence of the plant being here is production. So you are you are you are you are giving it assurance that its life cycle because once the plant start producing it has those senses that are aging so it may end up now uh just stop producing uh to the next level but if you remove the king flower make let the plant be energetic i'm assuring you the plant will give you all that you want the many fruit that you need and that our main point of growing that uh, the reason why we are growing we want it to be um, to have as many stems as possible to have as many uh, uh, branches as possible so that we can have uh, many flowers and head up having many fruit but at this stage you, you as you can see even the, the, the plant is as one stem which is not uh, what we are looking for we want to see it vegetating and having uh, quite good stems and energetic stem so that now we can allow it uh, to produce as many fruit as possible i know uh like i told you uh there are others who want to keep it some others keep it and remove it when it's still green they have their own reasons why they, they keep it, but that's my take. That's my opinion. Yes, if you are for the keeping for the flower, no problem. But for those who may like my argument or my opinion, I think we can go for removing of the king flower and make our plant healthier and it will give us as many fruit as we are targeting until next time subscribe to this channel stay tuned so that we can continue learning together bye